Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all having a fantastic day. Today I have something really exciting to share with you. It's the all new Kadas H2 Pro. The smallest yet most powerful ARM based single boot computer that I ever had. The Kadas H2 Pro comes with some impressive specs. It features a Rockchip RK3588S 8 core CPU with 4 core clocked at 2.25 GHz and the other 4 at 1.8 GHz. This little board offers two variants the basic and the pro. The pro variant has 16 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and 64 gigs of storage. I have got the basic one which has 8 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. Talking about the GPU, the Kadas Edge 2 Pro is equipped with a Mali G610 GPU clocked up to 1 GHz. This means it has some decent graphical processing power making it great for emulation and multimedia applications. Moving on the IO ports, we have two USB Type-C port, one for power input and the other as a fully functional Type-C port. Additionally, there are two full-size USB port, one is USB 3.1 and the other one is USB 2.0. And right in the middle we have a full size HDMI port. If you are interested in learning more about the detailed specifications, I have provided the link in the description box below. Feel free to check it out. Now since I plan to use this board as my mini PC for browsing, streaming and even some emulation, I thought it would be great to design a unique case for it. So let's get started with the designing. After some time and creativity, here is the final results. A miniature gaming PC inspired case. I think it looks really cool and will perfectly complement the Katas H2 Pro. To bring this design to life, I'll be using my all new Bamboo Lab Carbon X1 3D printer. I got this printer a few weeks ago and if you want to see a dedicated video on it, please comment down below. As you can see the 3D printing process took only 1 hour and now we have the case ready. It's time to assemble it just like a real PC. This case requires 3 30mm fans for proper cooling so let's install them right away. Alright guys, our mini PC is finally ready and I must say it looks really good. In fact, it's the smallest PC that I ever built. Just take a look, it's about the size of my mouse. Now one thing to note is that this board doesn't have 5V pinout. So I had to come up with a custom solution, a USB Type-C cable that can power up both the fan and the PC itself. 
However, I wasn't completely satisfied with this idea so I decided to directly connect the wire to the board. As you can see in the picture, I soldered the wires to the USB 2.0 ground and 5 volt pins. This fan consumes very little power so it should be completely fine. But remember this modification is specific to my setup and I wouldn't recommend doing this with your board. Now that's looking much better, let's power it up and see how it performs. Currently I'm running Ubuntu on this board so let's start with some browsing and 4K video playback. As you can see Ubuntu runs incredibly smooth on this device, browsing the internet and streaming 4K video is a piece of cake. Plus this Ubuntu installation comes with all the office apps pre-installed like Excel and Word. Although they are not original versions but they function exactly same. And the best of all they are free. I have also tested some multitasking by running two apps simultaneously and Kadas Edge 2 Pro handles it very well. It's impressive to see how much power is packed into this small form factor. Now when it comes to the emulation, I must admit that finding the proper software for this OS was a bit challenging for me. However, I managed to find one although it does have some bugs like my controller not working. So for now I had to rely on playing these games with the keyboard but the performance was quite good. I'm planning to install the Android OS on this board soon and hopefully I'll find more suitable emulation app there. If you are interested in Kadas Edge 2 Pro, be sure to check it out the link that I provided in the description box. And that's wrap for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing the Kadas Edge 2 Pro in the action. If you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any updates. And if you have any suggestions or questions feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time, take care and bye bye.